When we make major mistakes on national security, it can cost us our existence. The Middle East is engaged in, in a geopolitical earthquake. National security is a, is a matter of, of fundamental importance to every single Israel. We train the most advanced people who are designed and destined to fulfill the most important roles in government and in the security agencies later on. We have a tradition of sending our senior officers to be educated here. Officers in the IDF, senior agents in the Mossad and the Shabak in our foreign affairs ministry, part of now National Security College. What I got here in Haifa University, it's a broader perspective of the, ch of the challenges uh, of our country. The military officers who graduate from here are not only more proficient militarily in terms of their professional expertise, but they are enlightened citizens of the country. They see a broad picture of national security. They see the special responsibility of a military commander of high rank in a democratic society in terms of the values that they represent. And I think it makes a great contribution to the kind of enlightened, responsible, fairly moral military establishment that we have managed to cultivate in our country. Five continents are represented here. So it's really an international program of broad design and scope and global reach. The National Security Studies Center brought together faculty that combines academic excellence with experience. What is my main dilemma? What kind of... They not only talk to you like uh, what the books say, but they say, listen, this happened to me, we made this mistake, we, we had this solution. This combination of things that you just like, I personally, for me, have been amazing. About half of what they should on the fact People come to study in Israel national security because we are more challenged than any other society. When we make major mistakes on national security, it can cost us our existence. So we must be very good about it. I try to give them the elements upon which the discussions will be based. They add to that their experiences and their countries and their societies and their cultures to sit next to people from all around the world discussing ideas, theoretical issues alongside with what we see on, on the ground. It's absolutely brought to my point of view, a new way of thinking. They learn as much from each other as they learn from us. We learn as much from them as they learn from us. And uh, that's one reason I love teaching these kind of students. Together, they're bringing the program itself to a whole new, different level. Even in the breaks, we continue the discussion that we had in class, and it's, re it's enlightening. In the international program, we have some Israelis who are serving in the military. They bring with them the kind of experience that uh, you cannot acquire in any other way. They share their knowledge, they share their record, their experience. Uh, some very special events. For the students, it's a, it's a thrill to have them in class. The people that you actually get to sit in the class with, who have real-time, real-world experience, from not only within Israel, but from all over the world. For me, that was unbelievable. We're trying to expose our students to as much strategic thinking as possible. We also want an international perspective. We are trying to understand what is it that perhaps we as Israelis are missing? What is something that you can see from Brussels better than from here? Brussels was great. The meetings we had at NATO, at the European Union, they were uh, enriching. To me as an Israeli, coming from Israel, well, it's a bubble to me. And to listen to these people directly talking to us, no barriers, I would go as far as saying it was um, mind-blowing. To actually sit inside of NATO and see you know, real-time the strategic decisions that need to be made to keep the world safe, keep Israel safe, keep America safe, and keep the, the free world safe. That is just something that I would never get in a lifetime. It gives them an exposure to the practical world of the dilemmas and the alternatives in policy making. People in NATO shared their problems. What do they do about the Russian invasion to Crimea? 
do we or do we not take part in trying to curb uh, the atrocities in Syria? What is the price? What is the possible benefit? Socially getting together these people to being treated by, by them as responsible adults who are worth talking to, it's just a tremendous part of our training program. First of all, it's giving me knowledge uh, of a region that right now is in the spotlight worldwide. The knowledge I have is going to be important for everyone. If here and you read a lot about Israel, maybe from the more negative uh, way, but when you come here, things are cool, people they are friendly. It's a nice place to be, to be honest. Yeah. You realize this is the best place you could possibly be, right in the center of of it all. I would enjoy teaching botany. I would enjoy it and so on and so forth. But let's face it, I mean, this flower is nice and that flower is nice, but you know, what the heck. Uh, but national security is a, is a matter of, of fundamental importance to every single Israel. I mean, without exception. As a Druze living in Israel, this program has absolutely brought a new perception and a view perspective into my, my life. I'm really I'm having fun and I'm learning. Can't be better than that.